Welcome to this intro video on the SharePoint Hackathon, which is happening uh, on early March 2025. So we wanted to do a quick intro on what is this hackathon all about? How do you actually get involved? What do you need to do? And what is available for everybody who's actually involved within the hackathon? Uh, my name is Lesa Yuvanen. I'm here with Louisa Fries. Which side are you? That side. <laughs> yes. So, hi, I'm Louisa. I'm an M365 and for platform consultant based in Germany. Yes, and Louisa is one of the MVPs, uh, obviously actively involved, also in Hackathon. And you know, thank you for already helping on, on making things happen and, and driving an uh, and awareness of the upcoming Hackathon as well. Now, uh, we're going to do this in a way that we, I'm going to be talking more and Louisa is going to ask the right questions, which you might be asking the questions on what is the Hackathon all about. So let's actually jump on the screen uh, and all the screen sharing and talk about a bit about the Hackathon. So first of all, AKMS SharePoint forward slash hackathon. Actually, the forward slash is not needed. Both of those adaption URLs do work and you will get to the page where you find more hackathon uh, details. So basically, let's jump directly there. If you write that URL in your uh, browser, you will land in the adaption.microsoft.com uh, SharePoint hackathon page. And then this is where we actually have all of the details, what the hackathon is all about, when it's actually happening, the registration, the official rules and frequent less questions and all of that. And we're trying to get more and more questions in place. Uh, but technically, uh, quick intros, Hackathon is happening uh, on March 3rd to 17th. Uh, that is from Monday to Monday. Uh, we intentionally wanted to have a one extra Monday there uh, on the final submissions. Uh, and then uh, we do have four different categories. And this is actually really, really cool. So uh, we basically want to sure, make sure that anybody can submit within this hackathon. So even though it's called hackathon, it doesn't mean that you have to be a developer. Uh, so uh, you can also submit videos around the out of the box features and capabilities and beautiful designs of SharePoint or Viva Connection, uh, or a uh, really nice use case for SharePoint agents, which is one of the new capabilities, if you have that capability available within your tenant, because we're super interested on in seeing what kind of things people are creating, uh, what kind of processes for SharePoint agents people are doing as well. And on top of that, before I let uh, Louis ask the questions and, and <laughs> provide value on the video, uh, we also have a, a set of uh, videos and podcasts and live streams which are happening. We're live streaming this live uh, uh, in YouTube. Uh, we have six of them, uh, so getting started on the hackathon launch, uh, and then we will have a specific video for all of those four different uh, categories, uh, which is important to so kind of introduce the category, talk about what it is, uh, and also uh, what you can do, for example, of which you want agents or with out-of-the-box features or with SPFX as in extensibility section as well. And then, of course, in March 26th, we're celebrating uh, the, the actual winners for all of those four different categories. That's kind of the introduction on, on uh, in high level. Um, any thoughts, Lusa? Super excited. This sounds super cool. I'm sold. But how do I sign up? Yes, so step by step, uh, quickly explaining how this actually works. Step number one, if you're interested in submitting uh, and, and getting involved, and please do, uh, you need to register. Uh, so the registration actually works through Microsoft Reactor. So you go to the registration, Microsoft Reactor registration page, uh, you will land in here, all the same information as from that page, uh, also the live streams being mentioned where you can also subscribe to these live streams. You click the sign in, uh, button and that is basically giving you the option of signing into the hackathon and this is important for us also to send you reminders of those uh, live streams and also uh, reminders on when the hackathon is happening so in my case i've already actually registered uh, so my information uh, in high level is already available here I think so I registered I should have registered anyway uh, but I can see that and also if needed I can unregister uh, from this page as well now step number one register Step number two, if we go back on the Hackathon page, uh, if we go to the official rules or frequently asked questions, we will be actually landing on the GitHub location. So this is a bit maybe confusing if you're not a developer. It's like, why am I in a GitHub? What is this GitHub? But it is actually super easy. So you need to register on a GitHub. Um, the how to register in a GitHub, super easy. You just need to have an email. That's it. Uh, and you will uh, be able to create your identity in the GitHub, uh, and which you can then use to submit uh, your hackathon uh, submission. But in this page, if you scroll down, you can again find all of the relevant details related on categories and all of that stuff, registration details, FAQs, live streams, we're having all of this information in multiple locations. And uh, then there's the project submission form. You will click that one. 
and that will actually give you the form for submitting your actual video and your details, who are you and what the video is all about. And so which category you're basically submitting as well. So this can be anything, just an idea or a design or just like a fully fledged solution or what do I need to submit? Yes, really awesome question. So um, we want to embrace uh, every single solution of those, <laughs> which is a bit confusing. <laughs> but uh, technically, what we're super interested in is, first of all, it's all about community building together with community. So embracing what we can do together with SharePoint, uh, which is the most versatile content management system uh, out there within the world. And there's so many cool new features within the SharePoint pages and portals and SharePoint agents, which are available. Uh, and also we have the SharePoint framework, which is the extensibility platform for SharePoint. So you can actually submit in any of those categories, the video, we will, if needed, we will actually put you in a category based on your submission. Um, and then uh, the videos would be expected on, for example, showcasing beautiful designs of SharePoint portals. So how is that, what kind of portal it is, how was it actually created, what are the features which you're actually using within the portals, and those are then getting rated within the uh, categories. So, and. The last category we just mentioned was actually the SPFX category, and which is the extensibility, really even the pro developers uh, category. And this is basically, you can go crazy. Um, see, it's, it's a SharePoint portal, which doesn't look like a SharePoint. Well, SharePoint portals doesn't look like a SharePoint anymore. That's an old joke. Uh, but you can actually do whatever you want uh, with SPFX on extensibility point of view, building engaging experiences for employees. Um, and, and create a video on what you have created, submitted that one, and everybody's getting a badge. So everybody will get a credit badge, badge who are submitting. You'll get a badge. Everybody is getting a badge, yes. <laughs> and of course, the winners are getting a special award on those, uh, which I cannot go as we're recording this. and We cannot go too much details, but we will share the, the actual award details a bit later, which will be super exciting as well. Perfect. And would it be a good idea to collaborate with others or get some help or some inspiration uh, from others? Absolutely, 100%. So uh, we, we had the SharePoint January event uh, happening pretty recently. So there's a lot of inspiration from Microsoft on those things. But we also know at Microsoft that we're not necessarily the most creative people always using our products because we're kind of stuck on how we designed it or how we were intending people to use that. And quite often what happens is that we're amazed on how customers and what customers are actually building on top of our product. So you can actually have a team submitting so you don't have to submit by yourself as only one person. You can have a team size of four submitting. Um, and if your cat uh, video uh, or the, your submission wins, all of those four people will get the award as well. Every single person attendee will obviously get the patch as mentioned. And we do encourage to have a discussion uh, and inspiration from others within a community. There's a lot of open source assets, there's a lot of videos, there's a lot of guidance, and you can always use our discussion forum also in a GitHub to find potentially other people who might be, maybe you want to partner with, maybe you want to actually create a team with them um, and get to know other people within the community as well. So feel free to use the discussion boards. We have also our feature PMs answering on any questions related on the individual categories, and we'll try to help you to be even more successful within your submission. Perfect. And if I miss the URL where to get started, could you repeat that as well? 100%. So the URL is AKMS forward slash SharePoint forward slash hackathon. Please join hackathon uh, in the 3rd of March and hopefully we'll see you there. Happy hackathon. Welcome everybody to this intro video on SharePoint hackathon. So we wanted to do a quick video on, on what is SharePoint hackathon? Thank you.